So the first thing into practice, if you guys remember, when we were adding and subtracting, there's something I had you guys wrote down that we practiced over and over and over again, which was to make sure when you guys are adding and subtracting, the radicands have to be exactly the same. If the radicands are not exactly the same, you have to simplify them. And if you cannot simplify them, then your response would be correct, Marissa. But fortunately for us, we can simplify all these. Now, I could simplify them by using prime factorization, but you guys can see this problem is going to have a couple of steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this using squared numbers instead. I'm going to basically say 3 times the square root of 4 times 5x plus 8 times the square root of 9 times 5x minus 4 square root of 5x, where I can't simplify 5x. Now, what I did was I rewrote this as 4 and 9 multiplied by 5x because 4 and 9 are square numbers. I can take the square root of those square numbers. Do you guys agree with me? So now, so I could use prime factorization if you guys wanted to. You could say that's 2 times 2 and that's 3 times 3, right? And circle them and take them out. So now I basically have 3 times 4 times the square root of 5x plus 8 times 3. Oops, I'm sorry. The square root of 4 is 2, right? Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of 5x minus 4 square root of 5x. So what I did was I took the square root of each of my squared terms. And now you've got to see that those numbers on the outside are being multiplied by each other. So 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 5x plus 24 square root of 5x minus 4 square root of 5x. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we can see is now you now that all the radicands are exactly the same, we can add and subtract, and we're going to keep the radicand the same. It's like x plus x is 2x. Yes? We didn't change the x. So 6 times the square root of 5x plus 24 times the square root of 5x is just going to be 30 square root of 5x minus 4 square root of 5x. Now, 30 minus 4 is going to be 26 square root of 5x. That's it. That is it. That's all you had to do.